Okay, I did a previous um, uh, video where I discussed a little bit about uh, the uh, uh, muscle fibers, um, type 1 and type 2. Um, I mentioned that because of my endurance uh, uh, sports that I've done, I have a lot of type 1 uh, muscle fibers. And I was talking about a, um, a bodybuilder who had mostly type 2 uh, muscle fibers. Um, uh, and um, I wanted to go a little bit further into this. Um, uh, so uh, just like I mentioned, there's type 1 and there's type 2. And then the type 2 muscle fibers are broken down into type 2A and type 2B. Um, uh, the type 2B are the ones that we use when we're lifting something heavy. Uh, the, um, uh, the endurance of those fibers is very little. So um, you can do activity for just about, you know, 10 seconds or so, and then you're pretty much done. And for the person who is a sprinter, or let's say, say one of the uh, strength um, Olympic uh, things like the shot puts, that's all they really need is just those type uh, 2B uh, muscle fibers to give them the strength to do that 10 seconds of sport. Um, now the um, type 2A uh, muscle fibers are somewhere in between the endurance fibers and the strength fibers. Um, they also are good for strength, but they have a little bit of endurance mixed in. Um, so um, they can use oxygen uh, just like the endurance fibers, uh, but they just don't last as long. Uh, the endurance fibers are the ones that are uh, called type 1 fibers, and they're uh, used in uh, the endurance type sports, running, swimming, bike riding, cross-country skiing. These are activities that last for quite a long period of time and require us to process oxygen um, with uh, sugars in the body to make um, energy molecules. Now, um, uh, there is an anaerobic process to form energy, and this is uh, what the type 2B fibers use. When they do that, they use um, basically um, some chemicals to produce uh, energy without the use of oxygen. Um, uh, they take a sugar molecule and they'll make two energy molecules called ATP. The endurance uh, type of uh, uh, fiber can take oxygen take some sugar molecules, and one sugar molecule can produce uh, 21 um, ATP molecules for energy. ATP is kind of like an, like an electrical um, battery. Um, it basically gives energy to the muscle cell um, by breaking down and giving a jolt of energy. Um, so the more ATP you have, the more energy you have to fire that muscle. And because oxidative um, uh, type processes uh, using oxygen uh, make a lot of this uh, energy molecules. That's why it can last so long. The other thing about type 1 fibers is they have a lot of an organelle called the mitochondria. Mitochondria are little organelles inside the cell that provide us with energy. Um, uh, in plants, there's an energy um, factory called the chloroplast which is used to break down um, carbon dioxide uh, with sunlight and form energy. Um, uh, in our cells, we use mitochondria instead of these chloroplasts. Um, so when you look at the type one fiber, it's darker. It actually has a reddish color because of the chemicals that are inside of it. Um, uh, uh, the um, type two B fiber is actually white. So if you uh, take the chicken, for example, um, the chicken breast is a type 2B fiber. Um, the legs are type uh, 1 fibers. And why is that? Because a chicken, most of the time, just runs on the ground. Um, so he basically just needs his legs for motion. Um, he rarely flies. And when he does, he only flies for short distances. So he just needs powerful muscles in his breast to power those um, uh, wings for short distances. Uh, 
let's say there's a fox in the in the hen house that that chicken wants to get up into the air so he uses those strong chest muscles if you look at the duck breast by the way um, you'll notice that the duck breast is dark meat and that's because ducks can fly long distances um, uh, when um, uh, the fall comes uh, they go from warmer climates um, uh, in the north um, to the warmer climates in the south um, because the climates that they came from are getting cold. Uh, same thing with the geese and other birds that um, migrate in the fall. Um, so these animals need endurance uh, fibers in their chest muscles to flap their wings. Um, but um, just the fact that it's a, again, a, uh, a dark uh, colored uh, muscle fiber um, and like I said, the strength fibers are the white colored fibers. Now the uh, type 2A fibers are somewhere in between. So if you look at those fibers, they're kind of pinkish. Um, they're not red like the type 1. They're not white like the strength fibers. They're somewhere in the middle. So type 2A are half aerobic, half anaerobic kind of like. Um, okay, so basically, um, depending on the type of fiber, that's the kind of sport that you would choose. Uh, marathon runners tend to have more type one fibers. Um, people who are power lifters uh, tend to have more 2B fibers, um, uh, but it's not 100%. Every muscle has both type one, type 2A, type 2B fibers, and it's just a proportion that tells which uh, muscle fiber is more endurance and which is more strength. All right, take care.